Hi, I'm Andy Parkin, Managing Director of the multi-award winning Speed Screed. Today I want to cover screed point loading. When placing a load onto a screeded floor, it is supported by the floor covering, the screed, insulation and structural substrate. These layers spread the point load across the floor. If the load used on the floor is disproportionate, this can cause the layer of insulation to compress and may result in the screed cracking under the load. This is due to the compressive strength of the insulation not being adequate to support the load. Most common issues occur in buildings where there are heavy equipment and plant. It is not only the end use of the building that needs to be considered, but also during the construction phase of the build. Often projects have cherry pickers and mobile platforms working on the surface of the screed. Insulation is supplied with a varying degree of compressive strength, measured as kPa, with base commercial products starting at 100 kPa. Compressibility needs to be considered when determining the insulation requirement of the building. It is always recommended that the calculations need to be carried out by a qualified structural engineer, as they would need to determine the force transmitted through the screeded floor system and strength and types of materials to be specified. There are various factors that can affect the calculation of the load, such as the point load weight of the load, the area of the load in contact with the floor depth and the type of screed and angle of the load through the floor depth of insulation. To give you an example of a 20 Newton screed with a minimum compressive strength at 28 days of 20 Newtons per millimetre squared would therefore uh, afford a point loading of 20,000 kilonewtons per square metre and 2.04 kilograms per millimetre squared. So I hope this gives you some insight into screed point loadings and the complexities surrounding it. For more information, please contact us and we'd love to help.